love green beans, fresh off the plant in casseroles and canned for winter meals. I never get tired of trying new varieties and recipes. Green beans are easy to grow and make a great garden crop for children. What kid doesn't like hiding in a green bean teepee? Hi, I'm Amy. Join me as we discuss growing green beans. Beans are super productive, which is why they're considered a good survival food. Each bush plant produces about half a pound and pulls about one pound. There are two types of green beans, bush beans and pole beans. The difference is all in how they grow. Pole beans are very viney and need to be trellised so they can climb. One advantage of pole beans is that they will produce steadily all season. My favorite pole beans are Kentucky Wonders and Blue Lake. Trellis can be made of a variety of materials, but must be sturdy. Bamboo works well, and I often use sections of cattle panels for trellis. One of the other benefits of pole beans is that you can harvest standing up. As I get older, I appreciate this. Bush beans only grow about two feet high and don't have to be staked. They produce beans in a big flush, which is nice if you want a mess of beans for canning. There, these are two of my favorite beans that I grow every year, Provider and Royal Burgundy. Both are bush beans with good disease resistance. Also, beans with darker seeds germinate better in cooler soils, so you can get planting sooner. Yard-long beans are fun to grow. The plants are very tall and need a strong support system. The beans get 20 inches long. I like the red noodle variety, which is sweet and great in stir-fries. Bush beans grow great in containers also. Use a grow bag or container that is at least seven gallons. That will hold three bush bean seeds. Beans need the soil to be over 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so they are a wonderful succession crop. Plant a cool weather crop like spinach or arugula. When it's done, pull out the spent plants, add some compost, and plant your beans. Direct seed bush beans in rows two inches apart, one inch deep, and with the rows about two to three feet apart. If you are doing the square foot method, you will plant four seeds per square. Plant beans in full sun and keep the soil moist. For zone 6B, I typically start planting Royal Burgundy in mid-April and cover the bed with garden fabric. You can sow bush beans every three weeks in the summer. That will give you a continuous supply for fresh eating and some extra for preserving. Beans are an intricate part of the Three Sisters gardening method. This method, developed by Native Americans, combines corn, pole beans, and squash. This is the ultimate in companion planting. The corn provides the trellis for the beans. The beans provide nitrogen for the corn and squash. The squash provides a natural soil shade and mulch to conserve moisture and outcompete the weeds. Harvesting can sometimes be a bit of a challenge because the squash sprawls around and the bean and corn get entangled. Southern Exposure Seeds, which is in Virginia, has a great Three Sisters seed packet using heirloom varieties, and they change those varieties every year. I've tried it several times, and they always put together a great package. Watering your beans is a way to maintain moist soil that is necessary for them to thrive. However, you should avoid overhead watering as this can spread disease. Water from the bottom or use a drip irrigation system. As a rule, beans don't need extra fertilizer unless they look poorly. This is because they fix nitrogen in the soil. 
This is a symbiotic relationship between the bean and beneficial soil dwelling bacteria called rhizobacteria. You can purchase rhizobacteria inoculant to add to your soil when you plant your beans. However, the best thing to do is build healthy soil by composting. You still want to give them a good start with nutritious soil. Put your beans in the compost pile when the season is over. Green beans can do well with other vegetables. They also do well with herbs and flowers. They don't like to be too close to onions and garlic, but otherwise they're pretty flexible. Bean yellow mosaic virus, or BYMV, is common in zone 6B, especially among commercial crops such as soybeans. It is spread by aphids. Crop rotation and using corn as a barrier crop are two ways to organically control and encourage ladybugs. Mexican bean beetles are my biggest pests when it comes to beans. I use an organic insecticide with perithian for beetles. You can also scrape them into a jar full of soapy water and dispose of them. Squish the small yellow eggs that lay on the undersides of the leaves. When it comes to harvesting, this totally will depend on your preference. I prefer harvesting my beans when they are still young and tender for fresh eating. For canning, I let them get a little bit more mature. Beans can be canned and frozen to save for winter eating. Check out your local extension office for classes on how to safely preserve food. What other crops do you want to plant? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a super productive day.